Grassroots organizers pushing to save the Burdett Birth Center in Rensselaer County at a public forum tonight. Advocates conducting their own assessment on the potential closure. News 10 ABC's Karina Dominguez was there tonight to hear about their concerns over health equity. Community advocates taking matters into their own hands tonight. The Save Burdett Birth Center Coalition held a public forum to raise awareness around the proposed closure. Zanetta Graham became a mom at Burdett Birth Center in 2017. She was able to tour the facility prior to going into labor and wishes everyone could have the same experience. And I cannot tell you how much that really eased my anxiety, how good that felt as a first time mother to be able to go and see where I'm going to give birth. This really, really intimate experience. Graham says black women suffer from a maternal mortality rate that is three times higher than white women. There's already a crisis. She says she felt seen, heard, and comforted at Burdett, but that kind of birthing experience could come to an end under a proposal to close the facility. Save Burdett Birth Center Coalition organizer Liz Adio says it's the only maternal services provider in Rensselaer County. One after another closing because birth isn't big business. And unfortunately in this country, um, health care is a business and you know they don't have the resources to, to remain open. St. Peter's Health Partners proposed closing the unit because of financial losses totaling more than $2 million in 2022. Adio says St. Peter's submitted a proposal to close the birthing center just days before a new state law went into effect. That would have required a health equity impact assessment. County Executive Stephen McLaughlin wrote a letter to the Department of Health urging an immediate cancellation of the closure proposal. I don't think that if Burdett is allowed to close, it's going to be closing quietly. The coalition is not ruling out legal action and is waiting to see how the state responds. Reporting in Troy, Karina Dominguez, News 10 ABC.